Ignoring these could cause you a lot of heartache. Hi, I'm Kara O, oh, and this is another edition of Lip Smack and Love. And it's amazing how easy it is for all of us, I mean, I do it too, to ignore red flags. The red flag is screaming, don't continue to do this, don't go there. Don't go on a date with him. Don't get in that elevator. Lots of times we have these red flag signals and it's, I mean, we ignore them. I know so many women who got married with red flags just waving all around in their faces. You, it's, imagine, it's amazing they could take a step forward. And for all kinds of reasons, well, I already had my dress. The invitations were already out. I mean, on and on and on and on. And they knew the whole time. They didn't want to get married. Red flags, even though we ignore them, they're a little more obvious. But a lot of times it's just a yellow flag. And that means caution. That means slow down a little bit and just pay more attention to what's going on. And it may, it may be that it's fine. It may be your own fears that are getting in the way. It's really a good idea to sit down and notice, why am I having this little sniggling feeling in my gut? Is it a bad thing or is it a good thing? Sometimes it's a good thing and the good things can scare us a little bit. So just start paying more attention and know that if you ignore them, especially the red flags, the ones that are going, hey, stop, 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 <laughs> you're going to end up a mess. You're going to have heartache, you're going to be disappointed, you're going to be mad at yourself. And more than anything, you could waste precious time. We only have so much time on this planet, and you don't want to waste a moment of it. And as a little side note, it's not possible to, to make a mistake or waste time on the wrong person as long as we learn from the experience. We have to learn to be able to turn it from a mistake into a lesson. So that's just a little aside. I'm all about personal growth. I'm all about feminine grace. And that means take charge of your life. Take responsibility for your happiness, for the choices that you make. And your life will start running a lot more smoothly. So I'm Kara O, wishing you lots of lip smack and love. Mwah.